Welcome back to Lights, Mics and Studios. My name of course is uh, Charles de Toy, and it's my privilege to share the next couple of minutes with you and I want to thank you for the fact that you're taking time out on your schedule to listen to these videos and uh, buy into what we are doing at the I Am Youth Movement. Last week Tuesday there was a hashtag that was trending on Instagram and that's of course Blackout Tuesday and the, the story behind that is that the uh, person died, George Floyd, a black man, died in America by the hands of the police. Of course, this can be very racial, uh, it can be a racial story. And I don't want to go into the support of Black Lives Matter or, or hashtag Blackout Tuesday or anything like that. What I want to share with you today is the fact when I look at stories like this, these horrendous stories, uh, I'm thinking, for instance, of the, the that house of horrors that was taking place in South Africa in Springs. Uh, I think of stories like that. I think of the, the Jewish Holocaust. Uh, I think of stories like that. And then I struggle to see God in it. Because you see these immense stories, these immense hardships that people are facing. And immense injustice that people are facing. And then I wonder, where's God in it? And you know what? There's a scripture verse in, in Romans 9 in which I find incredible peace. And that is where Paul is actually quoting Moses uh, when God was speaking to Moses. And he said, I will have mercy on who I want to have mercy. And I will have compassion on who I want to have compassion on. And then I just find this peace flowing through my spirit, knowing that the God I serve is a God of justice. He does not merely overlook injustice. In the end, he will let justice happen. He will let justice happen. He's the only one that can be the judge because he's the only one that's, I don't want to say inactive on it, but he doesn't have an active role in most of these cases. He's the only one that's able to see the big story that's been there from the beginning right until the end. He's seen it, witnessed it. And you know what? Is the only God that has suffered alongside men. He's the only God that his son paid the ultimate price. He's the only God that knows what it feels like to go through immense pain, immense injustice, uh, obviously being lonely, being by himself. He absolutely endured it all. Thus, when justice needs to take place, he's the only one that can actually be the judge. He's the only one that can sit there and see justice takes its course. A while ago, I think it was almost a year ago, I visited a museum in Israel. It's called Yad Vashem. And it's a museum for the Jewish Holocaust. Uh, the, the injustice that was taking place in Poland and in Germany at that stage. Talking about Auschwitz and places like that. And there's photos and there's clothes and there's every single thing that the Jewish people had endured. And there's this big, big perspex case. And I think it's about three meters wide with four, feet, four meters long. It's about a foot high. And it's filled with this little shoes. Shoes of this size. Meaning it's the shoes the Jewish children were wearing during the time of the Holocaust. And that was taken from Auschwitz. That was taken from the sh children that died in these concentration camps. And you're filled with sadness and you're filled with mixed emotions. And uh, you're filled with hate, to be totally honest with you. Seeing what the German people did to these Jewish people, to these innocent children. And when I walked out, I just experienced the Lord telling me that, remember, I'm the judge. In Matthew, Jesus said, whoever punishes children, or who, not punishes, but whoever allows children to suffer, it will be better for him to be thrown in the midst of the sea with a stone tied around his neck, than come in contact with God, who's the judge. When injustice is taking place, I find peace in the fact that my God is a judge. And he will let justice take its course. He's the one that will make the final decision. 
And that's what I wanted to share with you. Whatever you're facing in your life, might be that you're going through immense hardship not right now. Might be that you're going through injustice right now. Remember that the God you serve is the ultimate judge. And he's the one that will let justice happen. From myself, Charlotte Toy, have a blessed day further. Looking forward to spending some minutes with you again next week.